Wow. Whoa. Saquon. Saquon to the Eagles? A three-year, $37.75 wow. million dollar deal, according to Adam Schefter. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, 30, so what's that? That's uh, under, but it's like 12.7 a year. Uh, the mm. Eagles are adding Saquon Barkley. So this is interesting because it is the rare case where the stuff that was uh, hinted at yep. beforehand actually came true. Uh, and a good and it's, thank God we're still alive. Um, <laughs> wow. So here for those is. of you who yep. weren't here it's in the beginning, uh, this is what I think the case is for Saquon Barkley as an Eagle. I think he changes their ceiling on offense more than anybody else who was available. And, and by that, I mean their ceiling as a team more than anybody who was available. Um, I think they view him as capable of doing to the offense what Christian McCaffrey did to the San Francisco 49ers offense. Um, he has been in such a terrible offensive situation throughout his career in New York with bad quarterback play, mediocre offensive line play, and like bad weaponry on the outside to the, the extent that like all of the defensive attention was placed on him. You put him now in a backfield next to Jalen Hurts, where defenses have to account for him as a runner. And with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and, in theory, what should still be a very good offensive line, that is a chance for him to, like, dominate. And when he gets in the open field, he can beat guys, uh, like, you know, to the end zone. Um, I see it. I think that... Uh, it's certainly a lot of money to pay for yeah. a running back, and that is not what Howie Roseman has done in the past. Yeah, but I think that it makes more sense to to overpay for the best guy on the market than it does to overpay for the eighth best guy on the market. Um, and I told you all along, Zach, that I did not believe the Eagles when they were saying that there wasn't much work to do on offense. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an offense that finished. You know, 10th in uh, EPA per drive or so last year, 10th in offensive DVOA. And given the investment in the offense and the offense and the, the organizational understanding that offense matters most, that was not good enough. And I didn't think that just changing the coordinator was going to be enough uh, in their mind to change the ceiling there. And so I get it. I, I wince a little bit at giving a running back that much money. And it's funny that, uh, you know, as we talked about the possibility that they were going to spend so much money on guard and running back, but I get it. And it's certainly going to make them a lot more fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Wow. So big move. Here's, here's where I stand on this. And I said this earlier in the show. I don't object to paying A players A money. And I think he's an A player at his position. Okay, that was my position on Saquon Barkley. It surprises me based on I didn't think the Eagles would set the market at running back. I was wrong. Uh, the deal here, according to Adam Schefter, like you said, thirty-seven point seven five million could be worth up to forty-six point seven five. But what you need to monitor is twenty-six million fully guaranteed. Okay, so you're basically and you have to think that. So it's probably years, structured like a two-year deal. Yeah, yeah. structured like a two-year deal at thirteen million a year. I did not think the Eagles would pay $13 million a year for a, a running back. I thought they would allocate that cap space elsewhere. Um, I thought that reading the market, they would try to get a discount there. This is different than I anticipated, for sure. But, like I said, I don't like when you pay B players A money. I think that's the biggest issue, or that's a bigger issue. I don't have a problem with paying, with paying A players a, a money. You're talking about a player, when he was coming out of Penn State, was considered... A generational, or I shouldn't say generational, that's overused, but like an elite, elite, elite running back. He's had early career production that mirrors that. Um, he's dealt with injury. There's no question about that. But when he's on his game, he is rare. The New York Giants made the playoffs last year on the back of Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley got Daniel Jones paid, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Saquon Barkley was that offense. The Eagles have seen it time and time again, what he can do. Um, and yeah, like you said, you put him behind the best offensive line he's ever played in front of, or behind, I, sh I should say, 
with the best skill players he's ever had, with the best quarterback he's ever had. And you see what um, running backs did in this offense that Kellen Moore has, has run in the past. I get it. I would not, I did not think the Eagles would do it, but I'm not going to criticize them for paying an A player A money. Uh, they just need them to stay healthy and they need that age curve to work in their favor. Let us know what you guys think uh, in the chat. Seems like people are excited. This will sound obvious, but I think this is the move that uh, they only thought became a possibility when the cap, cap jumped more than they expected. Like, I think if the cap had remained where they thought it was going yeah. to, they would still have done the Bryce Huff deal. And the cap spike led to them thinking this was a possibility. I think, I think this is a result of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It certainly is plausible. That's, 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 that's the case. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I could see it. Diana Rossini just said the Eagles aren't done. I'm um, curious what's what's the uh, next shoe of the fall here. But, yeah, I mean, this is – yeah, like, I I get it. I absolutely I, – I get it. It surprises me that they went this far. But, um, I mean, I, I saw someone say, like, DeMarco Murray. Um, DeMarco Murray was not under, under Howie. Remember that. Howie was on the other side of the building that year. This is the biggest investment Howie's made in a running back since LaShawn McCoy. Uh, and so – uh, yeah, is he's he's breaking form here. But if you think he's an A player, you pay A player A A money. And like you said, they had they entered today with the tenth most cap the tenth most cap space in the league, according to OverTheCap.com. And um, depending how they structure it, with 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 void years, they still can be can be flexible. But they're trying to maximize this window they have now. We've talked about. Yeah, look, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We we talked about what's going to happen when you pay Devontae and what that you know what's going to change with the offense. The Eagles have a window next year, at, at least with Devontae, with AJ, with Saquon, with Dallas Goddard. This might be this might be Dallas Goddard's last year, right? Um, you still have Elaine Johnson. Like the Eagles are 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 going for it as they should. Hmm. Interesting. You know what the uh, we, we we made this joke last week when we were talking about the Saquon possibility. Yeah. But poor Miles Sanders. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, he, he's, he watches as uh, the Eagles finally pay a guy, and it's the guy who he had to wait to play behind, and he's like always, he just will never escape the shadow of Saquon Barkley. That's, uh, that's too bad for him. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's been your read on the, on the player, like when you've watched him with the Giants? Yeah, I mean, he looks, to, now there have been times when he looked you know, just hurt um, yeah. and, and less explosive, but... He looked to me like uh, like a guy who had a chance to be a superstar if he could ever get out of a terrible situation. Yeah. Like, just never had space and certainly is really fun to watch. Um, I'm curious if we will, you know, one of his one of his superpowers is as a, as, as a receiver, and we thought that about DeAndre Swift last year, and the Eagles never really utilized that. Uh, I think that's part of Kellen Moore's um, operating uh, orders this year is to, yeah. to bring to, to make that a, a bigger part of the offense but I just think like sometimes you can overcomplicate it and when you get a guy like this who is as dangerous in the open field as he is with what's going to be around him in the offense like yeah I think there's a chance that he can be the best running back in football next year yeah I mean it's you've heard it elsewhere the Christian McCaffrey effect um that's that's what the Eagles are, are, are hoping for is that McCaffrey went to San Francisco and the, he he made a good offense even better or he made a, a great offense even better. Uh, and when you play with those types of weapons and you play with that type of line, you play in that type of offense and that type of quarterback, it can change a lot of things. Hmm. Do you think they will immediately follow this up by signing Boston Scott again? <laughs> Bring Rashad Penny back. Yeah. Maybe the Giants yeah. will sign. Boston Scott, and, yeah, they'll think, and they'll think that's a fair trade. True, true. Huh. Wow. I never thought that this was that crazy. No, you were on it. You were on well, it, and I didn't think they would me, do it. You were on it. I never say never, but I said unlikely, and I was wrong there. I feel like this is as, as big a chance as any to finally take a bite out of this apple. I mean, we've been waiting <laughs> for, it's almost three hours in, I can finally have a, have a bite of the apple. There you go. 
Mm. Oh, good question. Good question. Um, I'm going to go Jalen. I'll, 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 I will go Jalen. I will go Jalen. What do you think? Who, who, who can, can squat, squat more? more? Jalen Hurts or Saquon Barkley? What does the chat think? Saquon. Okay. Certainly now. Y'all silly like the mayor. 